Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's your boy Keto back with another After Effects AMV tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a good, well, how I make my color corrections and my edits, my K pop videos, and uh, also my music videos that I be doing, like with Uzi, Playboy Cardi, and stuff like that. But um, other than that, let's get straight to it, man. Okay, so the first thing that you guys want to do is obviously get your clips or maybe you um done with your edit and you ready to cc and stuff so the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna make an adjustment layer if you don't know how to make an adjustment layer you could just go up here to um layer and then go to um new and then go to adjustment layer and then you can either cut it where you want it to um, cc the end well um control shift d or you can just um, press Alt and bracket. If you just somehow don't know how to do none of that, you could just do it the long way. You can go up here to edit and then go to split layer and then just press backspace on the keyboard done to delete it. Make sure you click on the uh, adjustment layer. What I usually do, I always start off with uh, Magic Buddha looks like on my um, after effects is called um looks or sometimes it might be called magic bullet looks but mine's is, is just called looks and you just double click it or you can just drag it um on the effects control panel so we're just gonna click on edit now what i do for my color correction guys i always and i tell my friends this as well all the time you guys always want to start out with the curves like because this is the base quality of the footage right you know what i'm saying already this really this here is like the biggest thing so pay close attention so other thing you do is just like click on this bottom one right here and just pull it down like decrease the numbers and then on the top one you just um increase the numbers up and this is basically like the highlights and stuff making the highlights more defined and just give it like a little curve like that like um depending on the um the footage you'll probably have to adjust it but since for this footage it, it looks good like this already so just like just from this it already looks clean you know what i'm saying i already look clean J this just the curve you know what i'm saying so like just make sure you always put the curve on the subject and then after that I always um colorista. Now I'm not sure exactly. I know what it is, but basically it's like stuff for explanatory. It's like midtones, highlights, and shadows. Um, I don't ask me why I do this, but I just do it because it's it's a lot to explain. Basically, I just pull this up like towards like the reds because that's like the color of your skin. It's like it's kind of like a orangey red type of color, and this this works on uh, uh IRL footage too. I'm gonna get to that, but we're gonna focus on uh, the anime portion for right now. And then you're just gonna um go to shadows and break it down to the um the neon. I mean not the neon, but the um bluish color. And then basically you see on the sides right here, it you see it's like making it more um 3D, like give it that more depth. You know what I'm saying? See how it's like. It's like more 3D-ish. You just create that depth. You know what I'm saying? I usually just come over here to um, post. And sometimes I add a, a, a S curve. But it's just depending on the uh, the footage. But you can add this if you want. I'm going to just add this, you know, just in case you want to add it. You can mess with the contrast number right here if you don't want to uh, mess with the legs. Boost it up a little bit. The thing with color correcting, guys, it's all about the little stuff. Something subtle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to do nothing too big because all those little things are going to add up to something big. And that goes for, like, editing and stuff, too. Like, it's the little things that make the biggest difference pay attention to detail so after i done that i usually go to um LUTs and i i just sometimes i just mess with the um the basic ones or the built-in ones they usually be pretty good <clears throat> i usually go through these and see which ones i like the most so for this one um i think i'm gonna just i might just keep it on vibrance let me see And keep it on subtitle and i'm just decrease it a little bit like some subtle you know what i'm saying like maybe like maybe like 20 something like that and then basically this is all i do for the cc right there this the looks and then after that i add a tritone 
to my clip to you know give it that depth since it's like already orange i'm gonna uh, just go to mid-tones and kind of like give it like that orange orangey color so maybe something like maybe something like that and then i'm gonna just blend with the original right there and put it like at like maybe 85 some subtle you can't know you can notice it it's like it's like a small difference but it make it makes all that much of a difference you probably got to train your eyes to see it you see the little difference if you play close attention honestly um that's really all it after that if you guys didn't know um you can add unsharpen mask and sharpen is what like i use a lot because this will make your quality a lot better on instagram and youtube that's why people edits be looking so crispy like so clean you know what i'm saying like they add unsharpen mask and sharpen on there i usually put the radius on like 12. stop texting me <laughs> what the fuck? i'm trying to make a story yeah i put the radius on 12 and then i put the threshold on seven because i don't like how it's like it's too much you know what i'm saying you don't want to like i said what i said earlier you want to you don't want to add nothing too big you just want to add something subtle so i just put on seven and it uh you know some subtle it's, it's like a nice fit you know what i'm saying and then uh i add sharpen and i usually put it on 25 like like i said i usually adjust it to the uh to the footage like whatever uh footage that i'm using like sometimes i might not put it on 25 i might put it on 15 or like 12. and these settings are good but just keep in mind what just anything you have to adjust it to each layer like you like majority of the time is good like when you color correcting you can like slap it over the whole thing it'll look good but you just got to keep in mind some clips might be brighter than others so you just like have to like go back in the comp or on that pacific clip or you could just cut it let's just say if i want to if i wanted this clip to be a bit brighter i would just cut it now it's, it's, it's either way you could do this you could just click on the clip and just add exposure i'm just i'm just i'm just trying to show y'all and add the exposure and just brighten the clip like that or you could just like do what i just did and just cut it and then just add exposure on there and just make it a bit brighter which i'm probably gonna do that because this clip is kind of a bit darker from this clip like without it yeah see it like it just like makes it more fitted you know what i'm saying like how they highlight on them, you know what i'm saying and then you can see like look at the lines they're so crispy and i think i'm gonna add it on this too make it a a bit brighter And also guys, um, a lot of you guys be um, asking me how I like make it one color. Like, let's say if I wanted to uh, just leave this color right here, like this orange that's on his body right here, I would just, it's an effect called leave color. Just search up leave color. Click on this little squeegee icon right here. And they just gonna click on the color that you wanna leave. Go to amount to D color up here. And then just put it on 100%. And then I usually put the feather on like five. And then let's say, I mean, that, that looks good, but I kind of want it to lay like more of the orange. I click on the uh, the color box and then I just go to the color what I just saw was. So if that makes sense. So I would just like go like right here or, you know, just get it to like where you wanted it. So I kind of like, it's like like a nice sweet spot right there and then even then you can mess with the tolerance on like how much of that color that you want to leave that's basically what tolerance is um this is basically how much of that color that you want to leave so 
Like I could put it on zero to like, you know, decrease the value of the amount of color that I want to leave. But to be honest, like on this clip, it's just fine as is. So I'm just leaving it on 15. If the colors are uh, the same throughout the footage that you're doing, you can literally just like copy and paste and post it on uh, each clip. But like I said, each clip, um, you got to adjust it. You don't have to like it could be already good. I'm just giving you guys hypothetical situations, but um, you want to uh, adjust it to uh, each clip. So I'm a, um, I'm just play with play with this until like, I get a color that I want. I think I had it right kind of like how that looks right there and then like I said you could play with the feather too and like I said you could just uh just go throughout that with each clip And it's basically it. It's basically all you do. And like I said, this is what it looks out like without it. And then this is what it looks like with it. So like I mean it's like two versions of you know what you could do, like um, you know, with it and without it. But uh that's basically all you do. I'ma just render this so you can guys can just see what it look like. Man, this shit look clean as hell. I'm getting distracted. It just looks so clean. <laughs> oh my god. It's basically what you do with anime footage. Repeat the process on um like IRL footage. So just give me one second and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so we back. So I literally just copy and paste the um color correction on this clip. Now I'm gonna go back in and make some adjustments. So I'm gonna maybe turn this up a bit, just a little bit more, maybe like 200. And I wanna put on HL, HSL colors. And I kinda wanna uh, I'll make those greens more saturated, more vibrant. But like maybe I'm like 30. Um, I wanna increase the uh, this like orange color because their skin is kind of like more pale kind of like the orange color and plus our hair is like matching that color too so to make it more like you know in depth see what i'm saying and i'm maybe boost the rest like a lipstick and stuff maybe about about 10 not too much and then subtitle let me see what this look like i'm gonna turn this subtitle up to 100 maybe uh and like i said this you see what i'm saying like uh, adjusting to like the footage that you're giving or using this is good as is honestly i'm, I'm gonna keep that orange damn that look clean as <laughs> hey yo <laughs> hey yo they look clean oh my god <laughs> look at that bro that is art Oh my God, bro. Artistry. Aesthetically, please. Look at my baby. <laughs> Look at my baby, Neon. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm getting distracted, getting distracted. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna make another K-pop in it after this. It looks so clean. Alright, so basically I was just about to copy this and put it on uh Cardi. Cause like like the way I CC, it like pretty much works on everything. Like I said, you gotta adjust it to the uh the clip. So like on this one, this is like more dark. And I don't really like how this I don't like how they look, bro. Hold up. 
So what I'm gonna do is, let me see. Uh, do I want Maxine? I'm messed with these. Uh, oh, I kind of like how they, that shit looks. So, oh, so look. I'm gonna get to the brightness in a minute. I'm gonna maybe turn it down, maybe like right about 70. Turn it up. Turn the contrast up on that. We, well, yeah, I wanna bring out his jacket more. Then I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna go to the, the source of the clip. I wanna put some exposure, cause it's dark. I like how dark they look. And then, let me see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna adjust this. Uh, I think I'm gonna just put it on white. Man, I'm maybe just put like on like 90. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like that, sauce. Oh look, oh look, bitch, you get hit. Huh. And yeah, that's basically it, guys. This is how I do my color correcting. Um, how my edits be so high quality? I'll be looking like 8K and stuff like that. Aesthetics, aesthetics. You know what I'm saying? Got to move like this. Can't move like this. But um, basically, guys, um, let me know how I did on the tutorial, man. Um. I want to kind of start like doing these tutorials a bit more because I know how hard it could be trying to, you know, branch out and just like find out how to do different stuff and just get information and stuff like that. But if it helped you out in some type of way, be sure to leave a like on the video because, you know, it shows me that, you know, it actually helped you out and you want to see more tutorials and stuff like this, man. Also, uh, this project file will be on the PayHip store for free. So if you just want the project file and just want you know copy it as a preset or something like that i don't i don't, I don't know what you want to do hey you know it's on pay hip for free if you want to uh go cop that real quick and um also one last couple things uh i do make music um and i do also have a gaming channel so if you're interested in any of those link will be down below in the description i just dropped the ep so um if you're interested in you know just giving my music a try or something like that or you're just trying to uh look at some gaming videos or you know trying to laugh or something like that i do make gaming videos and stuff like that too um one last thing um i do do commissions and stuff like that so if you ever need something made or you know somebody that needs some made and they looking for an editor hit your boy keto up like i got you i'm gonna sauce you up real quick no cap but um other than that guys i really appreciate y'all uh watching this video hopefully it wasn't too long i try to keep it short and some straight to the point but watching the, the entire video will be worth it man because you know you're trying to learn new information bro you know not everything just a one two three like you can't be lazy if you want some if you want some sauce if you want some sauce bro you got to put in there work you know what i'm saying it ain't just no slap this on here and, it, and it's just clean no no you got to put in there work let the work speak for itself but i'm just reveling at this point man let me just let me get out of here i appreciate y'all gang let Your feelings just so they can feel whole. Rock style, like, hell, I feel like shit. Say some sin the beach.